This is Twit. You know, we, we talked about this ambient computing. What what do you think is the next next phase? What what could potentially be the next milestone if you look in your crystal ball and and say, hey, this is the next offering that that could really help out in the home and help people be even more comfortable with smart tech. Ooh, you want to have a fun oh. game? Let's write the word on a piece of paper, Kevin, and see if we write the same word. Please. I, I don't think we will because because the oh. tail end of Ant's question, and I don't have any paper. Oh, paper. Well, What's paper? paper? You just, you I'll, just, I'll say, the word just say, say the word first. I'll go first. Right, right. So Wait a minute. Let me think. My, that, answer the, ask the question again, Ann. What will the next what is, phase of ambient computing be? Yeah, what's, what's the next milestone? Because this is a big milestone, as Ms. Stacy, you know, mentions with, we get into software there, and now we have these this chips in place to do it all right there on the device. What's the next milestone in this in this phase of ambient computing? Okay, and getting one word. Comfortable? So Stacy's already written it down. Well, I have now thought that of you've a word it that way. I kind of have a different. Oh, <laughs> ah. so I'm like, yeah, the, oh wait. So so I'll give my word because the second the, the second time you asked that you didn't put the scary part in, which is good because. My first answer would have been scary. Okay. The one word is presence. That right. was my Who word. Is, oh my God. Wow. You guys should play uh, Password or whatever that we game should, is. We what? should do like an IoT podcast together, Stacey. What, what's happening? What is presence? Two berries in a pie crust. Hey, kids. <laughs> what's presence? So, presence is another, the next step in context of the smart home where it knows where a specific person is in the home. Oh, so yeah. when I walk into the room, my lighting preferences go on as opposed to <gasps> somebody else's. I like that. I dig that. And Google's actually sort of working with it. So presence is a key part of any contextual awareness. Um, and Google's working on it with like the voice uh, understanding like or attempts to understand that I'm asking for things like call mom. And then okay. it calls my mom. But if my husband asks for a call mom, it calls his mom. So just imagine that applied to your location in your home or the fact that you're the person driving the car at the my time. My hub max, when I walk in front of it, it sees me and it's, it so pulls that up was my calendar when, and stuff. So that's that was going to be my second thing was computer vision was going to be my. Uh, that goes hand uh, in hand. It can. It can mm -hmm. also do a lot more. But yes. yes. When uh, Bill Gates 20 or 30 years ago became the richest man in the world and he built his underground bunker in the Seattle area. Uh, one of the things he put in, everybody would say, oh, this is so modern, so forward thinking. Every guest who was invited to stay at the house would be given a little, some sort of- A little uh, NFC card or RFID, yeah, RFID card. Yeah, RFID card. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when he walked into a room, his favorite or her favorite art would appear in the magic frames of the room. Right? That's presence. I like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And where it gets interesting, though, and what I think is kind of fun to think about is if Kevin and I are in the same place and are like we're in the same room, whose preferences win or Mine. what what does the <laughs> yeah. assistant do? Like, See, are we going to have to listen to my while my guitar gently weeps? So if you want to yes. take it further, then you have to start thinking about Definitely. like how the digital assistants for each person mesh or does a person need their own digital assistant and then the family gets a digital assistant it's kind of fun to think about it'll meet in the middle yeah. and play rocky raccoon that's a good song oh, i, love that I song. have there to figure go. that this house that he built in medina washington for 154 million dollars mm. is now 40 years later kind of a a museum of out of day <laughs> out of day technology <laughs> I, i'm sure it's been up to oh is that on lake union yeah you've seen yeah, it yeah i've i've seen it from my friend's boat there's a bunch of houses a million? Yeah, it's like a complex. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a, I don't it's remember. Crazy. It was like 80,000 awesome. square feet or something. It's a million dollars a year in property taxes alone. I think the sound system is run on a Zoom. What you don't <laughs> see is a lot of it is underground. You're just seeing the surface buildings. There's a lot of it's underground, including a big yeah. parking garage. A Zoom, yeah. Everybody gets a Zoom when they check in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you go to those hotels and they've got the 30-pin... Docs <laughs> right for, for your clock iPhone. radio. <laughs> well, we're hip and with it. Technology changes way too fast. Clearly. Yeah. yeah. You can't really build it into a house. But that's, yeah. I honestly think that we're really getting to the step. And I saw this right away when Amazon released the Echo, the idea of talking to your house. Those devices kind of disappear. Mm -hmm. And that's what to me ambient computing is. It's right. not device tied to a device. It's just ambient. It's around you. And anytime you want something, you ask for it. Yep. 
and your little plastic pal helps you somehow. Um, and that's and cool, after, but that also that, could be creepy to some. Yeah. And after that, you won't ask it. It will suggest to you. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Right. That's, that's, that's the next phase is how are we going to get people more comfortable with knowing that these devices are right. here and Here's are, an example. quote, unquote, surveilling, but it's also something that's useful in right. your house. You know? There are six kitchens in this house. Just six? Very modern. Look at the size of the TV. Just six? <laughs> oh, man. It's massive. It's like 42-inch TV oh, in the man. kitchen. <laughs> OMG. Okay, I'm just saying, you know, that's the problem with this. Yikes. Uh, I, I thought you were going to say... Look how small that TV is for his kitchen. That's what I'm saying. It it's is tiny. small for the kitchen. It's yeah, a 42-inch yeah. TV. That's the problem is that, you know, technology ages so fast. So in a way, you better not build it into the house. You know, you better let Google take over. And um, I do think that people... See, different, different people have different places where their creepy line is crossed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and I, I actually, I wrote this in last week's newsletter. I talked to somebody who did focus groups around Madam A. And he said in the focus groups, there was a very clear delineation of people who associated Madam A with the, this embodiment of a digital assistant in the cloud. So it, it was everywhere, which is yeah. kind of how I think of it. But there was a really large group of people who also thought of Madam A as being tied to a particular device. Oh, that's, wow. what, so, that's what they don't want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Right. And so I think part of this is education. Part of this is, again, the trust, because these companies are going to know so much about you that if you don't trust them, you're not going to welcome them into your home and life. And honestly, you know, some people will never be convinced. Some people are like, I can walk over and turn the lights on from the switch. And I don't think those are actually the use cases that will get people excited about this. I think it's right. probably more the security and monitoring kind of things or uh, like it, I, I call it education. So things that will educate you or make you do things better because they're just simply smarter, like the June oven. Uh, so yeah, I, I think there's, there's going to be a wide range this. for a long time. Here's the thing that's going to be the problem is interoperability. And somewhere on your refrigerator. Yeah, well, that will be a problem too. But interoperability. No, well, so you do you do different things with different things. No, I, that's I, not what you want. No, I think of uh, Madam A is no, that's is, dumb. Madam A is my IoT and speakers solution. Google is my thing that knows stuff. Yeah, no, but that's dumb. Who was it? Was it somebody what? just said, or maybe it was uh, uh, Windows mm. Weekly? That I think it was Paul saying, "I've got Echo and Google devices everywhere," but but everybody's used to saying the hey, A word, yeah. and nobody ever says the G word. All right. You just, it's, we just, that's a semantic uh, burden that we shouldn't have to carry. Yeah, we're, we're, I don't we're know. You call it. certain, well, wait. So you do ask certain friends for certain things. Like I, I've got a buddy that I'll call to go out and meet for gin, you know, because she's a big gin fan. I've got another buddy I, I meet for cake because she's the only one of my friends that eats cake. Wouldn't you like it if all your buddies like gin and cake? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing, but it's not the way the world works. We so could, it is the way digital world could work. <laughs> my point. It could. Why should um, you have that's an artificial distinction? But so when you're you, when you've you, got plastic pals, it, you shouldn't it sh you shouldn't even because, have to say the keyword as right. you pointed out. They should know what you want or you should just say yep. out loud, "Boy, I sure like a, a cup of hot tea right now." Yeah, but that's a totalitarian viewpoint. Well, your yeah. creepy line is not my creepy line. Well, and you might end up buying a digital assistant and being able to apply it to all of your devices. And then later you may buy a different version. So maybe Apple's Siri suddenly gets loads better and everyone goes out and buys Siri and applies it across. We're, if we're talking about interoperability, I think we have to figure out what layer. So if you're talking about interoperability at the digital assistant layer, we're not there yet, but we could be there. That could get This was the thing that kept home automation from happening. So... I would argue that now we have interoperability between most of our devices through a digital assistant platform. I really believe that. Mm -hmm. That's true. I can ask. Well, no, because the yeah, hello Madam, doorbell Madam rings has, my Google has, device. Has not largely solved this. And Google has largely solved this. They've all largely solved the, 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 the IoT. Everyone talking in different languages problem. So, okay. Carson's like, and that's the final word. <laughs> no, you're wrong. 
We're moving on to new problems. Um, <laughs> um, Daydream is dead. Do you care? Nobody cares. No. Um, no. Was it ever alive? Was it ever people, alive is like, a good people question. People need content for that, right? Oh, yeah. I feel sad yeah. for their content. But does Samsung yeah. do its Gear VR either? I don't think so. That's dead too. Yeah. I think I'm one of the few people that actually still use the Daydream because... It was really nice. It was to comfy. Watch Phone VR on it. is dead. Period. Well, see, I didn't use it for VR. I I just used it for that Hulu or <laughs> Netflix. Sleep. And it was it, it was great. It, it was really my, my sleep mask locked you in, and you know it was immersive. For I me. made the the mistake of the first time I tried uh, to do uh, Netflix on the Daydream. I watched Hardcore Henry. Oh, <laughs> that must have made you nauseous. <laughs> yeah, there was there was there was vomiting involved. Oh man. Oh. Mm. That's the movie. Bless it's all first heart. person, like, running around. Oh, there's a bless your heart quick. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Clips. Oh, yeah. Clips is dead. Yeah. I'm, I came so close to buying that. That was the little camera you just put there, and it would automatically yeah. get the best pictures. Mm. I guess people thought that was that a little was, too creepy. That was silly. Yeah. And creepy. And silly creepy. and creepy. Yeah. That's a bad combination.